Welcome to Dear Cyber Sue, I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is, dating has become difficult due to generalized opinions. The one thing that I see every day doing dating and relationship blogs and my videos is the opinions of people about what isn't working for them and what they don't like about the opposite sex. And the trouble with this sort of generalizing each sex the way people are doing is it actually sabotages any happiness from happening for that person. Because if they're always sort of negative about someone that they might have a potential date with or they're online and they just look and say there's nobody here and then they start getting to the point where they get a little bit upset they start to point fingers at each other and this is happening with both sexes i'm hearing from women about what they think men are all about and i'm hearing a lot also from men about how they generalize women when you're getting comments from both sexes saying they feel invisible, there's a problem here. And the problem is a disconnect from just understanding that categorizing each gender into a specific opinion is not a good thing to do because you're labeling everybody the same. And the trouble with that is you go in with that sort of pessimistic thinking, how is it ever gonna work for you? And what happens is people will tell me, well, I've given up. I can't be bothered anymore. There's nobody out there because they're all thinking this way. The women are materialistic. The men are, are, are jaded and they're angry. And this is happening so much in the comment section and just people I talk to on a daily basis. How is this situation going to work for anyone if you don't take the time to individualize each person that you meet? and say to yourself, okay, I'm gonna start over here. I'm not going to assume that they're a certain way because they're a guy, or they're a certain way because they're a girl. This has got to stop. It's really becoming infuriating for everybody because at the end of the day, if you're not dating anybody and you're feeling lonely, you feel a little bit insecure or you feel like you just don't have you know, the whole, something is missing in your life. You don't have the whole picture in front of you. But if you keep saying things that aren't healthy, how is that ever going to make you be able to meet somebody? On one of my videos I did a while ago, I'm getting quite a few comments on there. Um, I think it was the one about a woman who wrote in about being single at 45 and saying she felt invisible. And a lot of the men have written in the comment section that, hey, join the club. We've been feeling invisible for years. And there, if both sexes are feeling the same way, then maybe we all have a point. Maybe we need to sit down and when we do go on a date with somebody, really sit down and talk to them without judging them quickly. Because if you're going out saying, okay, well, I, every date I've had in the last six months has been the same results, change up what isn't working. You have to choose people that compliment you and have the similar interests they don't have to be the perfect look because if you're always going for perfection you're going to give up a lot of things about getting to know them as a person and all the other things that go with it it's not just about physical attraction and i think that's where the biggest problem is here that people are going more for the physical thing first and then they're saying, well, they're all high maintenance, they all have this, the guys are too hot, they want girls that are 10 years younger, et cetera, et cetera. You know, you, you know what I'm talking about because you've heard it yourself and you've probably even said it yourself. If that is happening, you really do need to look at things in a different light. I understand if you want to stay single, stay single. That's fine. You don't have to be in a relationship. But if you're making comments on a video that are is about relationships, then there's probably a good part of you that does want to meet somebody. But you're feeling stuck. You're feeling in a place that there's never going to be that special partner for you. But if you think that way, that's the same result you're going to keep getting. Because if you're arguing about why women are a certain way or why men are a certain way, why do you want to be right about that? Don't you want to change that up and make it a better scenario that 
maybe there is a really nice guy that has my best interest at heart and he's just a sweetheart. Same with the woman for a man. I'm seriously telling you, we have to stop this. Another line I've been getting quite a bit is that women only want um, men in that 10%, you know, that, the hot, perfect guy with the abs and everything. And women say the same thing, that men only want that as well. So what's happening here is we're all judging and labeling each other and we're not getting further ahead because we've got our heads stuck in a place that isn't being realistic. Not everybody is a bad person, come on. There's lots of great people out there. Change up what isn't working. Go for somebody that brings a smile to your face, somebody that's interesting. Go on a date with somebody and sit down and get to know them without putting their appearance as, ooh, you know, she looks like she's high maintenance or he looks like he'd be a player. Take that right out of your head when you go on a date. Just try it, just do a couple and try somebody that you wouldn't normally date. Find a person, maybe if you're dating online, that's just a bit different on the profile. Another thing I find that when I'm dealing with clients and that, a lot of men and women do not understand that they do have a type. They don't get it. They're not aware that they do until you bring it to the forefront and you say, okay, have you noticed how this situation happens every time? Or they all kind of look alike in, on your phone, all the people you've dated in the past. And that's what I'm saying about change it up because maybe you're attracted to a certain type of unavailable person. Maybe you're attracted to somebody who's uh, plays a little bit hard to get and these scenarios aren't working for you. So sit down and look at your past dating experiences and, and say to yourself, okay, are they all similar? Am, have I got a type and that type isn't working for me? Because a lot of the times we don't understand that we're sabotaging our own happiness because of what we're thinking and repeating. So if you are repeating dating patterns or you're, you're repeating thought process that's not in a positive light, you have to really sit down and say to yourself, how is that working for you? Dating is a bitch these days. I know it's hard. I did it for a while and I understand the trials and tribulations that you go through. But it is worth it in the end, if you're looking to, to have a partner in your life, you might have to make some subtle changes about yourself. It's not always the other person that's the problem. Sometimes it's just, we need to change up our thinking a little bit. And that's what I'm hoping out of this video that you will understand a bit. I'm not here to cr criticize or, or tell people they're being bad and they've got a terrible attitude. It's just about altering it a little bit. So in closing today, take a good look at your checklist. Even if you don't have one sort of written out, just think about what would you really want in a partner? Maybe revise that a little bit so that it's not, maybe you're looking a little bit too deep into things and just go on a few dates and just change up how you think about things. But there's light at the end of the tunnel if you don't lump everybody into one category. There's lots of great people out there. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Please leave your comments below and please click like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.